Hey guys, it's Camille, and today I'm doing one of my most requested videos. You guys won't stop bombarding my DMs with this, but a lot of you wanted to know what my current hair routine is, and I'm really excited to document this because I never want to forget the combination of products I'm using right now. And I think the last time I posted a hair care routine was like a year or more ago, so it's definitely time for an update, and this one is way better anyways. So this routine is great for curly hair, especially if you have any type of 3, 3A, 3B, 3C, and it's also really good for dyed hair because a lot of what I'm doing is protecting my hair and trying to undo some damage that has possibly been caused by bleaching or dyeing. And because the curl shape is also more susceptible to breakage, this is great for just protecting your hair, adding moisture, and adding protein. I also focus on preventing future damage and keeping my hair color lasting longer. And I've worked on this routine, improved it for 10 years, so I really hope you guys like it. This is what my hair looked like to begin with, and I thought it was such a cute style, a little bunny tail and two small buns at the front, but y'all curlies know that once your hair goes up, you can't take it down and you have to redo it, so I'm taking the buns down, which makes such a weird texture, and then here goes the bunny tail. It slips out just like that because I'm wearing a satin hair scrunchie, which is great for preventing breakage, three different textures, and a bonus bobby pin that I totally forgot about. You want to start with damp hair, so you can do this in the sink or with a small spray bottle, especially if you're filming it for YouTube and it's hard to get a good sink shot. Then this next step makes all the difference. This is the Ion Repair Reconstructor, and I've tried a ton of at-home protein slash keratin treatments, and this is definitely the best one I've found. You can get it at Sally's and the bottle lasts forever. And I do this about every other wash. Pretty much this adds protein to your hair, which is what makes it strong and fills in the hair cuticle, which can get swollen or compromised if you've bleached or processed your hair. It also helps if your hair has high porosity like mine does from bleaching. And it's also important for people with curly hair to do protein treatments because it's more fragile and prone to breakage than straight hair due to the shape it grows. I use as much as I need to thoroughly coat my damp hair and then focus the extra on the top area of my hair that gets sun damaged and frizzy more because it needs extra help. Then I put it up loosely with the satin scrunchie to reduce friction and pulling. And it says to leave it in for 10 minutes, but I get better results when I leave it in for like 30 minutes or while I'm doing something. And you can leave it in for however long you want, by the way, just a minimum of 10 minutes. I've definitely left it in there for like hours and it's totally fine. It also functions as a conditioning treatment, by the way. After waiting, I'm rinsing it all out and getting my hair completely saturated with the water and giving myself a little scalp massage because it helps stimulate growth and also because why not, it feels good. If your hair really needs it, I love the Marc Anthony Bye Bye Frizz Keratin Shampoo, but I only use it if my hair is really gross or when I need to remove product buildup. I usually use the conditioner of the same line to co-wash, which is when you only use conditioner to replace washing with shampoo and is so much better on your hair, especially if you really need that moisture. I love this one for the keratin, and I also use the Aussie Three Minute Miracle in the 10 times strong formula to get a really good deep condition. And the Aussie one in particular has a texture that's great for detangling, so it makes it so much easier to get the brush through. And of course, I'm using my Denman brush I've had for like six years, I prefer the nine row over the seven because the seven can hardly handle me. I need that nine. I need all of the bristles. It also feels so good on your scalp. And I start at the bottom with detangling, which is really important because if you start at the top, you're just making knots and compressing the tangles even more. So start at the bottom and then slowly work your way up. And I'm really gentle with it. So I spend a lot of time slowly detangling so I'm not pulling on anything and causing stress or breakage. Since bleached and processed hair are already less strong and when your hair is wet, it's even more fragile, so you have to be careful. It's interesting because I've been thinking about life the same way and have realized I do need to be gentle with myself in general, and I've been working on that, so definitely remember that next time you're frustrated with yourself or going through something mentally, and then also physically, I've been getting better about not using my nails to open things and just more gentle with them in general, and they aren't breaking as easily, so pretty much this is just a PSA about the importance of being gentle with yourself. 
Once you can run the brush straight through your hair easily, it's time to finger comb from the roots out and kind of lift the hair at the root so it's going more outwards than down, and it also separates the curls while also being very gentle. Then squeeze out the excess and water before doing the next step, and I'm using the Ion Absolute Perfection Color Sealer, which is the step two of the kit that's similar to Olaplex that I always use when I'm bleaching my hair because I find it's a really good product on its own and helps repair my hair while also hydrating it. And it helps with the damage and is also very conditioning in a different way than the previous products I used were. And it's really hard to describe, so you'd have to try it out yourself to really understand what I'm saying, but it also is really inexpensive and you can find it at Sally's and it's an absolute staple for anyone with processed hair, so 10 out of 10, recommend that. Next, I squeeze out the water and go in with the Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioning Repair Cream, which does exactly what it sounds like it does. It's a real thick leave-in conditioner that conditions and repairs your hair, and so far I've combed the regular conditioner through my hair to detangle and rehydrate, then squeezed out the water and excess product. I definitely recommend not rinsing out the conditioner because you really don't need to and it'll also make your hair drier, but I always leave it in mind because it helps with the hydration. Squeeze out the extra and then for this thick boy, I use it the way you'd use a regular leave-in conditioner on your hair that has as much water squoze now as possible and then left on my hair. Then there should be less to squeeze out at the end, if any at all. It's time to use oil to seal in the moisture and this is pure cold pressed babasu oil, which is oil from the Brazilian palm that deeply moisturizes and is a natural sunscreen, has lots of vitamins, fatty acids, helps regenerate hair, soothes irritation and reduces dandruff, pretty much does everything. But the biggest reason I love this oil is because 100% of the lipids can seep under the hair cuticle due to size of the molecules, so I can hydrate the inside of my hair strands with this and hold the moisture long term since it's an oil. You don't need a lot of this oil, so use it sparingly and try to spread it out as evenly as possible. And next I use cold pressed avocado oil, about three pumps of this one, and I only buy cold pressed oils because that's the best way to extract pure oil without processing it in a way that it loses nutrients or efficacy. And I have links to both of these oils as well as all the other products I used in the description box down below. And the reason I use avocado oil is because it has vitamins A, D, and E. It's very lightweight, so it's easier to spread than something like argan oil, for example. It's good for your scalp, it doesn't clog your pores, and because of the vitamin E, it offers UV protection and can help reverse and heal sun damage, and it helps protect it from the sun, so if your hair is fried enough, don't let the sun fry it anymore. In the same way, I wouldn't go outside without SPF on my face. I want to take the same preventative measures with my hair to keep it healthy. And because it has a lower amount of cuticle penetration than the Babasu oil, it makes the outside of the strands glossy and keeps my hair detangled and moisturized longer and also adds so much shine. Obviously, you don't want to overdo it on the oils so you don't weigh your hair down or make it greasy, but do the right amount for your hair length and texture. You can figure this out with experimenting. And lastly, you wanna do a nice finger comb that's going outwards and not down. So when it dries, you have some volume and you can flip your head upside down to help. And some people also use this inversion method to stimulate blood flow to your scalp to help your hair grow. So you're pretty much killing two birds with one stone. And although I don't condone killing animals, I do appreciate efficiency. Then give your hair a good scrunch to help it curl back up and then let it air dry. I know it takes hours and is really annoying to do, but the curls come out so perfect and defined and you avoid heat damage and frizz like you would if you blow dried. And there are some ways to get around some of that if you're in a time crunch and need to blow dry, but that would be a whole nother video. After spending the entire day not touching my hair, not moving too much, not leaning on anything, this is what my hair looks like. And you can tell that the curls are pretty defined. And I do that because when your hair is wet, if you manipulate it too much, it could break or just get frizzy. So I wait until it's completely dry and then it's time to add volume. And I like to start at my roots. So just like very gently using your fingers and you can fluff it out like that. I don't like using a pick because it gets kind of tangled, but if you have used a pick before and you like it, why not? 
This side is a good job. This side is pretty flat. So I'm gonna do the same thing over here. And you wanna get as much volume until you look like a true lollipop. You wanna make sure you do it in the back too. Just very gently pumping up those roots. I'm gonna do one last round upside down. And this is cause it just really helps change the way that your roots are going. It's a great way to fluff and just get up all in there. Ooh. Thanks. <laughs> so I got the volume that I want and next I'm going to do my edges and then shape this properly. <laughs> I'm just going really simple with my edges today, but if you want something spectacular, click in the link down below for my galaxy edges. Those were fun. I'm just using my Eco Styler gel, the olive oil one, and my regular toothbrush, just wash it between using it for your hair and your teeth. Just kidding, I got this at like a dollar store in a pack of five. <laughs> Please don't do that, that's ungodly. <laughs> Please do not use your regular toothbrush. Something super simple like that, and then the same thing on the other side. So now that my edges are done, it is time to just fluff your hair into place. So doing the initial fluffing is just to get a base layer. And then once you have your hair all fluffed up, you can kind of shape it in the way that you want it. And it will just kind of stay there until it gets windy. But you can also do what I do. I have bangs that they can go down so I can have this kind of style, but I can also swoop it over and I definitely recommend a side part for curly girls out there or just like try every part that you like. So I usually go for a circular shape and that is it. So I hope you dyed people and you curly people out there found this video helpful. This is definitely my favorite routine I've probably ever, yeah, ever had. So I'm really glad I got to share it with you guys. Comment down below what you think about it. I have all the products I used in the description box down below as well as my social channels. So definitely check those out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I wish you all a happy, healthy life and I will see you in the next one. Mwah.